What's up guys, we're back at it today with another video. A little MTV Welcome to My Crib, W&W &W edition. So today, we're just showing you guys our little Taj Mahal stand that we got here. It's a little, I don't know, probably 14 by eight, uh, wooden blind there. I mean, got windows on it, got a heater on the inside. This is more of a late season stand for us, but it took us a pretty while, or a pretty good while to uh, build it. But I thought you guys might be interested in looking at it and maybe building one for you guys but basically for location on this this is over our uh, clover leaf plot here uh, this has been a pretty good kill plot for us for a while this doesn't have a whole lot of traffic early but this is more of a late season plot too and it's got a nice traffic because we got a cornfield right over there and this is a pretty heavy traffic uh, traffic way right here all right we can go check it out but first let me go make sure this wasn't a home for a raccoon the past couple months I'm not too sure what's going to be on the inside of this. It's been about four or five months since we've been on the inside. It's like checking your duck blinds. Might have like boogeyman pop out or something. All right, no raccoons this time. Come on, guys, come check it out. All right, so basically we're up here now showing you guys the inside of it. I mean, you can see we have been up here in months. It's all dirty. Looked like we had a nice family of mice living in here for a little bit. So hopefully kept them warm the whole uh, winter. But, so a couple features we got. We got our big recliner there. That's one, I mean, that's just a comfort thing. You know, that's a little luxury piece that you don't have to have necessarily, but. All right. Yeah, we got our little seat here. My dad loves this thing. He can spin around. He doesn't have to get up or move or anything. And, you know, the less moving when you're up here, the better. Because noise is your worst enemy in a situation like this. It's kind of nice because you don't have to worry about any smell in here. Because all your windows are down. And, I mean, as long as you guys get this built a couple months before the season, the deer aren't going to necessarily stray away from it. Um. Once they know that it's here, know that it's not going to attack them or anything. They'll just kind of adapt to it and then go on about their business. But what I would recommend, make sure you put some sort of carpet down. Because carpet really dampens the noise and makes it a lot quieter to move around in here so you're not spooking off any deer. And uh, let's see, we got our windows here, which is just a little plexiglass deal here that all you do is just flip the latch here. And then we put felt on the inside of the wood right here. So every time you move it down, it's nice and quiet. You know, nothing's going to hear you move the windows down there. But as you can see, it's overlooking our little food plot there. You can see our side by side, what we wrote up on. I mean, you could comfortably, I mean, shoot, I don't know. You could have six guys up here if you wanted to. That's a little overkill, but usually we'll have two people come in here. We'll have somebody on the north side and somebody on the south side because this is almost too big of a stand for one guy. Um, this is the heater we got. Now, sometimes we will have to even open the windows in the winter because this heater will get so hot and the windows and the plexiglass will start to fog up. So sometimes we have to turn this off or we have to crack a window or something because it get, actually gets too hot in here. But, I mean... Other than that, this thing's been pretty good to us. We've killed probably six or eight deer out of here. My dad more than me, I don't really hunt in these stands a whole lot because I'm more of a bow hunter. And this is definitely, I mean, you could bow hunt out of this, but this is definitely more of a shotgun stand. So, I mean, other than that, that's about all I got for you guys. We'll catch you next time.